a little bit of a lag. Okay. Do you have it pulled up somewhere else so you can read the comments? Oh, yeah, I need to do that real quick. Thank you. Your hair is cute. Thanks, I did it myself. It's really cute. Let me see the I, back. I can only braid it to here, and so then I cross the braids. It's really <laughs> cute. Because <laughs> I can only braid to here, and then uh -huh. I give up. It's really cute. I'm 45, and I'm still learning how to do my hair. It's fine. I do my hair the same way every day. And your hair looks fabulous. Thank you. I can only leave my hair down about once a month. That's about my tolerance. Okay, we're on. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. I was just telling Susan how cute her hair looked. Look at her cute hair. <laughs> it's so adorable. I want to do that with mine now. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> All right, this is our second sister sew along. Well, our second sister video. And Susan has her sewing machine all set up. I sent her some clear vinyl and some jelly and she gets to sew a boxy bag on her machine. She's never done it before, right, Susan? I'm actually kind of nervous. <laughs> I think everybody understands that you haven't done this before and we're all going to learn along with you. I'm I, the rest of it's going to be fine. It's the dang zipper pull. Hi everyone. <laughs> She's nervous about putting the zipper pull on guys. She can do it. Like it's making my stomach go like, you know, uh huh. Well, but I'm excited. I, I, um, I went and bought a thread stand so I could use the rainbow thread. Oh, yay. And I you tested practiced it. practiced with it and everything already? I did because I wanted to make sure it would work. I put the rainbow thread <clears throat> on the top and I just have like an orange thread in the back because it didn't matter. Yeah. And, and look. <gasps> it totally worked. Yay. So that's the 45, right? That's the text. Yeah, that's the 45. It's the 45, and then I just have whatever I use for quilting on the bottom because like I don't know. Embroidery, an embroidery thread on the <clears throat> bottom. <clears throat> yeah, it's that kind of Guterman, the one I always buy for quilting. Show, which everybody, I have a bottom. show everybody your machine, Susan, the one that you Oh, have. okay. So I have a baby lock, but this is a Bernina. This is like a 20 year old. It used to be our mom's machine. Mom, if you're on here, your machine's making a debut today. Just a minute. <laughs> So this is our mom's old Bernina that I had for a while and then Kasaya had. And now that Kasaya's addicted to her industrial machine, I kind of talked her into um, bringing this to my house when she came for Thanksgiving. So what's a Virtuosa 150? I don't know what that means. It just says it right there. <laughs> um, I do know that she bought it in Montana. But, and I know we lived in Montana like seriously 20 years ago. So um and because there's a sticker on the side like that 25, says 25, 25 years ago six years ago yeah so i um yeah as you guys know a lot of people always ask kasaya can this be done on an on a domestic and i said well, well let's try a domestic with a beginner because then you can really know if you can do it and so i looked up to see what kind of needle i should get because i only buy the same kind of needle because all i ever do is like piecing quilts together or doing some quilting right yeah oh saya do you have your cherry cordials within reach i just they're right over there by my embroidery machine i was just eating my andy's cherry cordials candies i, I just finished a pack of those that's so funny that's so funny i think um, we probably like spiked their sales on those candies in the last two weeks i know they should pay you they should pay you something right? um Anyway, so I went, I looked to see what kind of needle, and then this is me just guessing. So I got a 9014. Does that sound like anything? Yeah, that's the size. So it's a 14 needle. <laughs> What's the 90 mean? The, does the thread go through the eye of that okay? Yeah. If it, if it shreds at all, you might need to go up in the size. Well... Then we won't have a video. I don't think I have anything else. I mean. Well, I mean, if that happens, then you can just change the thread. Oh, if, okay. if, if it shreds, it's because the needles, like, is too small, probably. Um, okay. But it might be fine. Well, we're going to find out. Yeah. Right we're, here we're, in River City. Um, so, River yeah. So, I just went. I just went. It's. You don't know that? Does anyone know the quote? River City or um, the reference? 
No? I, I don't know. I bet someone's going to know it. I'm not going to say what the reference to River City was. Okay. Someone's right. going to say it, and they're going to win a prize. Um, <laughs> so I just bought this little universal pack that has different sizes in it. Music <gasps> makes Bryce. Bryce, who's in the next room. <laughs> Bryce, you win. <laughs> it is the music man. Um, anyways, <clears throat> so hopefully, and then, Kasai, you told me to get a tip on foot, and I said, I don't know what that means. And you said, not, look, people, music man, music man. Mm -hmm. with a capital P. That's right. See, they've seen it. Anyways, you told me to get a Teflon foot and I said, I don't know what that means. You said not metal. <laughs> so I looked, <laughs> I said plastic, <laughs> plastic. I mean, I'm telling you, this is how, um, this is how great this is. So I just looked at the bag of feet that came with it and I just found one that had, and it says 52 on it and it has plasticky yep. foot. And so I tried it mm -hmm. and that's I mean, it. No nothing bad happened. That's it. Okay. All right. Are we ready to start sewing these boxy bags? Yes. Should I just tell you what I have in case I need to get anything yep. else? Yeah. Let's okay. go through pieces. So I'm going to be sewing along with you. I've got my pieces all cut out and ready to go. You here. are? Yeah. That's cute. I didn't know you were going to do one too. I thought, the whole point was we were doing it together. Oh my gosh. It's horrible. <laughs> Um, I'm making boxy bags for the triplets for Christmas. And this is the third one I have to make. I saved it for the video. Oh, seriously? I love it. Okay. Donna um, says she uses the 9014 needle with that thread, so you should be fine. Oh, good. Okay. And one of your people, I saw them post that they made like a whole wall of these bags. Did you see that? Yeah, post? I just saw that. I just saw that. That was I, awesome. Donna, I think. Is that the same Donna that's right there, or is it a different Donna? I don't, I don't remember yeah. who it was, but that was impressive. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> okay, so what I have here, and so you can tell me if... Um, if I've got everything. Oh, that's just my tester. Um, I'll be honest. If you guys want to know where I got this, I got it from Kasaya left her sewing bag here at Thanksgiving and she said, <laughs> send me my, can you please mail me my sewing bag out? And so a uh, back. So I did, but first I took this, mm -hmm. I took a zipper pull from mm -hmm. her bag. Mm -hmm. You took more than one, right? Yeah. I took four. Okay. I took like okay. two generics and then the Mickey and then <coughs> Yeah. Baby, yeah. baby Yoda or something. Mm -hmm. And then I also stole from you a lighter. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I also, what else did I steal from you? I don't know. Some so clips? What I, Take some clips? No, but I went and bought some because I was trying to be prepared. I've never oh, bought clips really before. Cute. And I have my little Altoids case. Yes. I always take mints with me to church and I just had my last mints this week. So it was Perfect. meant to be. So <laughs> I bought my, this is my very, these are my own clips for my very first time. I'm kind of feeling really cool. Um, and then I have the two clear vinyl that you sent me. I'm going to, the first one I'm going to do is the baby Groot one. Yep. Um, and then this was cut 12 by nine. Yep. And then, oh, and these were cut, you cut these, they were four and four, four and a quarter. And a fourth by 12. Yeah. By 12. And then I have the two strips that are a half inch by 12. Yes. To go over the something, something. Yeah. That's right, Jada. That's right. I'm confessing all the things I stole from her bag. But, <laughs> but you know what? I did yeah. then package everything up and I took it to the post office and then I confessed to her, by the way, I took this and this and this. And so how many duplicates it, I have? It's fine. <laughs> is it stealing if you confess it and mail everything else back? No. Um, and then these are the things. The tabs. Mm -hmm. the tabs. <laughs> I don't know what these are for, actually. They're like then, to hold on the side when you <clears throat> zip, right? Like oh, okay. Hold the side of the back. Okay. And then the zipper tape that I cut to 15 inches, because I saw in your, it says 16 inches. And then yeah, when I looked at your video, it said. That's a 15 still like way more than enough. But for you, it'll be good because you need that extra space to try and get that zipper pull on. So that's good. Oh, gosh. I should have cut them 20 inches then. No, you'll be fine. <laughs> Well, there is more in the other room. Better That's right, Suzanne. <laughs> Better to ask for forgiveness. I see that. Oh, and then did you take any of the, like, the handmade, the handmade tags? Oh, shoot. Give me just a second. I think I did. Give me just a minute. Yeah. Entertain the people. I think so. Let me go look at the back. Okay. She needs a little handmade tag on her bag. It's going to do this, right, guys? Okay, so I, I'm not stealing if you confess. <laughs> I'm going to kind of move you guys in here. 
Yeah, Wonder Clips are the best. She'll be, whoops, she'll be needing that if she's going to continue doing this. Um, I've got same pieces that she just explained. I've got them all set up here, ready to go. So <laughs> this may be very entertaining, everybody. We shall see. I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on my zipper while we're waiting for her to find her handmade tag. Hopefully she took them out of my stuff as well. Right? Did you find them? Um, kind of. I kept, I thought that you brought different ones, but I just found Let these. Let me see. Two. Wait, they're, not quite, they're not quite the right kind, are they? Oh, um... You can, can, still no, you can still do that, and I have a cute idea of where. Okay. Yep, you can still do those ones. Okay. Oh, yep. and look, and I found some of the alcohol pads. <gasps> Yay, you and you have some machine oil? I have some machine oil, yep. Okay, we're ready to go. We're ready so to go. I got everything? Home. Yep, okay. perfect. So let me move this a little bit. Okay. Hey, everyone, thanks for being here. Let's do this. Let's do it. Susan, 155 people are watching you sew a bag. Oh my gosh. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I mean, if it goes well, I'm super thrilled. <laughs> it's going to go great, Susan. I have faith in you. You're very confident. My uh, screen will pull up. Oh, there it is. You got it? Yeah, let me catch it up so I can see the comments. Okay. No pressure, Annette says. <laughs> Yeah, right, Annette. All the pressure. Pressure. <laughs> Yay. Everybody is so supportive of you. I know. You guys are so nice. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> We're their entertainment for the day. They're great. <laughs> okay. So, um, Susan, real quick, go ahead mm -hmm. and just prep your zipper with some tape. Like oh. this. You're going to want to put it on both edges. Just On the, the back edge. side? Is that the back side? Nope. That's the front. Okay. And about 12 inches of, um, so get a ruler and do it to about 12 inches because that's the length of your bag. And My do stuff's it on all messy everywhere. Oh. <laughs> See, I keep this area really clean and all of my tools and stuff to the side. So Whoa. I just grab what I need as I go. So I only want 12 inches. I don't want all the way. squad ever. <laughs> What's that? Don't go all the way. You don't want it all the way down. Just 12 inches from one side all the way down on both edges. Very serious. Listen, it's, it is serious. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to fill in the empty, quiet space on this one, aren't I? Yeah, that's your job. Now you have to sing songs and tell stories from your childhood. And I know, I'm not good at that. I'm just good at sewing. <laughs> <laughs> you are good at sewing. Uh, she pre-cut it. Oh, look at her. Okay, good. You're doing great. Wait, wait wasn't that supposed to pre-cut it? No, that's great. I usually just roll it out as I go, but that works too. Well, you didn't tell me that until after I did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Is it on the edge, 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 edge? Or yeah, so you want, you want to line this at like the two edges up here because that's going to be like your guide for as you put it on your piece too. So I really don't want any of the black showing. No. It's okay if a little does show, but yep. Is my camera okay? I'm not really. Um, when you start sewing, just um, we'll move it just a tiny bit. Play an instrument, Kasaya. <laughs> yeah, Kasaya, where's your instrument? <laughs> I got out my flute the other day, and we were playing it. Are you serious? Yes. That's awesome. Do you remember I Charlotte wanted to play the flute? <laughs> Do you remember any notes? Nope. Not a single one. Thumb two, three, one, two, three is D. And then you add your pinky, that's E flat. And then thumb one, two, three, one is F. There's three notes. Mary had a little M. You got it. Well, you can give me a lesson next time you come over. Okay, we'll do. I almost <laughs> cut more tape. 
Don't cut more tape. I'm sorry that I'm taking mine. No, this is this is like real time, guys. Play the recorder, Bryce. I think I threw all of our recorders away because they drive me insane. Oh my gosh, the recorder's incredible. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Not when your little kids are tromping around the house going, bleep, 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 bleep. We have some. <laughs> yeah, um, Margaret, she does need to um, melt the edges of her zipper. Oh, am I supposed to do that yet? Do it after you put that tape on. Okay. Do I keep the papery stuff on it? Right now, yes. Okay. Is it I'm just time? having you prep it so we don't have to do it when we're sewing. Yep, that's beautiful. Now get the lighter and just melt the ends of your zipper so they're not spraying. Like, watch, like this. And just melt it. Like, boom, boom. Boom, boom. You'll kind of see it just kind of. Boom? Yep. Boom. Fire. Yep, fire. Yep, blow it out. And the other end, just so it doesn't fray on you. Okay. I think. Okay. Gonna... All right. Put that aside. Okay. All right. We're going to start. Here we go. Thank you, Stacy. So we're going to take the three um, big vinyl pieces first. These three pieces. Okay. Move your camera a little bit so they can see your table too. Do you see how you can see my table and my machine here? Like you're kind of more in the picture than your machine and your table. Yes. Perfect. Yes, girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. This is like me teaching a class at one of the. <laughs> All right. So take this first piece here. You're going to take it right size together. So you want this be, <laughs> sorry, I just got something in my throat. <coughs> We're going to turn this. So the wrong side is showing. Does it matter about this one? No, I'm pretty sure these are, um, it doesn't matter which is, um, up or down on this belly, okay. but you want to take this. And so it's called right sides together, right? So okay. that's the, you're seeing the wrong side of that piece and line up the edges here. <gasps> uh Oh, what? It's not, it doesn't perfectly match up. Did I cut it too short? No, I, I think maybe I cut mine no, wrong. No, did I cut it too short? Is it? No. I probably cut mine. And if it's me, I can go grab. It's mine. Mine's a little short. You know what? What's just a second. At? What's yours at? A little less than 12. Oh, then just trim down your vinyl piece. That's not a big deal. Oh, really? Like it? how, how much less than 12 is it? <sighs> A smidge and an edge. Let me. Then I did it. <laughs> then just trim your other piece down. Wait, no, I cut two because I'm making. I cut two because I'm making another bag later. Yeah. And this one is good. Okay, perfect. Then just use that one, and then we're gonna clip this long edge together here. Okay. Okay. <gasps> I can use my clips. Yes, you can clips. Bryce, did you know about clips? Pretty sides together, Jada said. Yes. Oh. Pretty sides together. Oh, shoot. Thank you. You saved me. I was almost doing it wrong. What? I almost did it wrong. So you should be seeing the wrong side of the group vinyl. Got it. Okay. Now, we're going to sew along this long edge that we just clipped at a one-fourth inch allowance. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm... Don't it. apologize. I feel like it's a race and I already lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you were racing me, yes, you would lose. <laughs> but it's not a race. <laughs> you're like, you're right. You do. You're, I'm like, well, yes, I would beat you. <laughs> this is something I am better at than you. Okay. For and sure. then you want a shorter seam allowance or do you want a stitch length for this? A shorter stitch length for this. So I do, I don't know what your machine stitch lengths. I would do about a four to four and a half, maybe. So mine goes only from zero to five. Okay. Go to so four. four. Four? Yeah. Because you don't okay. want really tiny stitches on vinyl because then it'll just tear holes all through it. Oh, got it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. So put your stitch length at about a four. Okay, get it. And then a one-fourth inch seam allowance and sew that up. And 
three back stitch at the beginning and the end. Okay. All right, people, this is serious. Serious. Oop. Oh no. I hope it's what? Okay. I don't know. It's making a noise. We'll see how it goes here. Is it looking okay? Yeah, it's actually fine now, yeah. Okay. Do I back stitch at the end too? Yes. How's, how does the stitching look front and back? Does it look okay? Yeah, no. Nope. Let me see. What happened? What happened? Okay, people. This. Oh, that's just your thread got caught in it, yeah? Or is your oh. tension off? Yeah, I guess, the, like, this part's okay-ish, yeah. right? Uh-huh. But then it's a mess here. Yeah, that's just your thread that got caught in it. You so it's okay. You, you need to hold your thread when you begin and end or else it'll get sucked in. Okay. I pulled that it out. Sense. I pulled it out, but now it's a little, the orange is a little loose. You want to do a second row or second, um, a second stitch line on it? You tell me. I'm going to try to hold it still. Yeah, it looks a little loose. Does it does it get better as you go? Because the end doesn't look it, like that. It got worse. That's the end. Oh, it got worse. Oh, no. I guess the end tightened up at the last the, minute. The tension is way too low, they're saying. On the top or the bottom? I think... So if you're... Is your... Um, is your top thread showing too much on the bottom? I think you need to tighten your yeah. top tension. Okay. And so to tighten it, sorry, but do I go to a higher number? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Let me just. Now, where's your scrap piece? Fold it in half. Don't just sew through one. You need to sew through two layers because that's what we're doing. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Now, sew through that and see if it's any better. Okay. Yeah. Better? Better. Better. Okay. Just do another line of stitching over that first row that we just did. Okay. Okay. Does that look better? Yeah. Try it again. Okay. This this row of stitching won't really show in your bag, so that's why I'm not worried about it. Okay. Like it won't show when we're done. So go ahead and do another. Go sew it again. So just do it right on the same thing. Yeah. Hi, Brittany. Hey. Hi, Brittany. Make sure you hold that thread too as you're beginning. You don't need to pull it, just hold it. Does that make should sense? I, should I still hold it? No, just while you begin. You're good now. She'll tell us what her tension is at after she does this row. <clears throat> Hello from South Africa. Hello. What's your um, top tension number at, Sue? Almost to a five. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's saying six. So if you if you have issues again, maybe go up just a bit more. How does that look now? I mean, it's okay. It probably it's not great. Uh huh. So maybe go up one more number. And should I test one more time? Yeah. 
Yeah, tension is one of the hardest things to get on these domestic machines. Yeah, and I, you know what? I'm afraid I might have messed with the bobbin too much when I was trying to do that quilting project. I couldn't get uh, it for the life of me. I finally gave up. I was like, well, the top looks good, so who cares? Yeah, bobbin's hard. Yeah, that looks better. It's interesting. They they all start good and then they go a little wonky. Really? Yeah. But that one is better. So I'll okay, keep it. Okay, let's try one. that. Okay. All right. So now we're going to top stitch. Okay. Okay. So we're going to flip this up like this. <clears throat> Hold the jelly down. Yep. And then we're top stitching through this jelly part this jelly fold it'll it'll hold down this seam behind it okay so the seam is going down towards the jelly okay. okay and we're top stitching on that jelly okay is it um someone said the jelly vinyl likes higher tension on my bernina so oh okay okay and then I like to make my stitch length bigger. I, I have a hard time. I can't see what your stitch length is. So just, you know, judge what you want to do uh, for the stitch lengths, I guess. What do you do for... for you? I mean, my industrial lengths are different than your domestic. So should I do a quarter again or that's too much for this? Um, do what? Oh, you're talking stitch length. Yeah, I'm touching. Yeah, I actually think my stitch length needs to be bigger. Okay, then go bigger on you, especially for top. Somebody's saying your needle and lubric. It's also your needle and lubrication. Yeah, uh, I put a brand new needle. I did. Would, I would did you need it. to put oil on the needle? Would that help? Oh, I only put it on the little case inside the bobbin thing. Somebody's saying three and five. So three for sewing things together and five for top stitching. Thank you, Dagmar. Okay. Thank you. So now I'm just top stitching on that jelly with the seam underneath. Yeah. And this jelly and clear vinyl, it's just a little bit trickier than normal materials as well. Even on my industrial machines, like the stitching on the back is funky sometimes. Okay. So I, you know, I think a, a part of it too is the material. Um, but the, my top stitching needs to be less than a quarter inch though, right? So I can catch that lip back there. Say that again. Should my top stitch be less than a quarter inch seam allowance so I can oh, catch that little yeah, lip? Yeah, your top stitch is an eighth. So it's usually just oh. the edge of your foot, right? If your needle is in the center, is your needle centered? My needle's centered, but the edge of my foot gets me to a quarter inch. Oh, okay. Then you need to go in just a little bit. Okay, look, at my, look at mine. Hold, please. Look at mine. Do you see oh, that? Oh, yeah. Like way close. Yep. Let me just try something really quick. Go, oh, just move your needle to the right. If you just move your needle to the right, then the edge of your foot will be an eighth. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. There you go. Should I go all the way over? Yeah, because oh. then and because then to the edge of your foot will be a one eighth. Okay. Sorry, give me just two seconds here. <laughs> what did you choose as your stitch length? Five for top? Yeah, I think that's good. That's... That might be even a little bit... Measure that. That might be a little bit bigger than what you need. Yeah, it is bigger. Uh-huh. 
Did you move the needle all the way over? Well, almost all the way over. I'm afraid it's hitting the foot. Yeah, use your wheel. It shouldn't. Oh, no, I guess it doesn't. Okay, try that. You could always draw on your <laughs> jelly too. You're right there. <laughs> Better? It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. If it's not any, that's okay. It's really close. Okay, perfect. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Do it. Okay. Okay. Call it good. And do I back stitch on the top stitching too? Um, yeah, just like one or two. And I kind of like hold my jelly as I go and kind of push it flat. Does that make sense? Like as yeah. I go. Okay. Yeah. Oops, my stitching looks a little bit like a drunk driver, but it'll be okay. <laughs> That's okay. <sighs> I love how positive everybody is. Everybody's cheering you on. It's kind of Are weird. they? I wasn't even looking. Yes. Yeah. They're like, you're doing great. <laughs> it takes practice. It does take practice. Thank you, everyone. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not. How's it look? It looks like a drunk driver. It's okay. <laughs> Whatever. It's All right. fine. We're going to take it and we're going to repeat on this other side. Same thing. Okay. Okay, so right sides together, pretty side down. And then make sure you do your um, stitch length goes down just a little bit when you do this stitching again. So, hey, opinion. So the group, yeah. the group faces a certain way on this, right? He's facing a certain way. So when it comes together, would you want him facing the opposite way? Probably, huh? Um, I think you want him facing... Like, yeah, the opposite way because the bag goes like this and down. So you want him like that. Like you want his head close to the zipper and coming down. Does that make sense? Are you still there? I can't hear you all of a sudden. I can't hear you. There's no sound. Oh, can you, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Now I can't see, but yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um, you can't see though. Uh, uh, what happened to your picture? Someone called and it, you didn't put your me. call on silent or on no, do not disturb. No. Okay. I can't see your picture now. Do you want me to go off and come back on? Is there no way to show your picture? I mean, I don't know. It's just sitting here frozen. Okay, give it a second. Okay. It may come back. Because if I got off and came back on, it wouldn't mess up your life, I don't think, would it? No, my life's still going. But your picture's just not there. So should I get off and just click the link again real quick? Oh, try. Okay, yeah. guys, if, if this... 
If this ends it, then we'll restart another one right away. Sorry, she's new and she didn't put her phone on too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Right. <laughs> I know. I'm like, for reals? She's new at this. It's okay. Let's see if she comes back. It says guest left. So now I need to see if it invites her back or not. <clears throat> oh, goodness. <laughs> We're learning, everybody. We're learning how to do this. There'll be some bumps in the road. That's funny. <laughs> um, no, we are using just the actual um, YouTube. They have a sew together um, option now where you can invite somebody to sew with you. So we're doing it through YouTube. <clears throat> so I'm just waiting to see if she can join back or not. If not, it's just me. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Reality TV, right? Oh, goodness. I don't think it's going to let her come back. Well, is there a way to re-invite? Add guest. Oh, look. I can add guest. Susan, if you hear me, I'm... um. I'm adding you back. So give me a second. Okay, I think she's coming back, guys. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, did you have to do the new invite I sent or did you just click the old one? I just clicked the old one. Okay. Just so we know in case it happens again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. I'm like, I can't hear you. What's happening? Yeah. Sorry. Someone was calling and I was just ignoring it, but evidently you can't do that. No, you can't do that. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, so second sight. Okay. So. Help me think through this though. Let me see how you have yours. You have yours with the right side up. Yeah. This way. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then. Yes. Yes. I did put do not disturb on. I told Siri <laughs> to do it and she did it. <laughs> um, yes. Yes. And yes. And that will get their heads together. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Got it. Yep. And now repeat what we just did. Repeat, 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 repeat the sounding joy, <laughs> repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. So there's this song that I'm supposed to play on Sunday for the, for the church choir. Uh-huh. Because they don't have like a full time pianist for the choir, so they're just having people do whatever, right? Uh -huh. And so, like a week ago, they're like, "Here, do this one," and it's a version of "Oh Holy Night," which is a beautiful song, right? Right. But it is, it is so hard, and there's Are you one part. Your French horn, your French horn for it? No, the piano. I'm accompanying the choir, right? And there's one part that is so difficult that I'm going to actually have to practice a lot, which you're not used different. to. I'm not used to, but, and that's okay. I can practice, but it must be really disturbing me because last night I had nightmares about it. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes. All these things were happening and I couldn't play any of it and stuff was falling off the piano. <laughs> and So you're I'm just going to laugh about it. it. I just need to practice. Okay, don't forget you want a fourth of an inch seam allowance because you move that needle. So just make sure you know oh. where your fourth seam allowance is. Dude, I just need to move it back to the middle. Okay. Yep, Margaret was saying the same thing. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. And then your stitch length, make sure that's correct. And we're going back to like a three, someone said for that. I, I would do a I would do a four because we're doing okay. this vinyl. I would do a four. Okay. 
Okie dokie. Oh, wait, stop, 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 stop. Get your tag. Get your tag. And we are going to, let me see your tag. It's one of these guys. Yep. So we want to put it, um, we want to put it right in here in this seam. Okay. So you want to clip it in this seam here. Okay. Yeah. That you're sewing. Okay. Does that make sense? A little bit. Should yeah. I just, put it, kind I of... put one little place. You don't need to take it out. I can do it down here, right? Um, yeah, you don't want to do it all the way to the edge because we're boxing it, but you don't want to do it right in the center. Does that make sense? So maybe like, like Yeah, uh-huh. So you're going to slip that in between the two layers, and you're going to oh. sew that raw edge. Got it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep, I think so. Okay. Is that right? Um, yeah. I put the raw edge with the raw edges. Yeah, uh-huh. Good catch on that one. Yeah. Well, is that enough to the is that enough to the edge, or should I move it in more? No, I think that's fine. Because then you're gonna flip, and then you're gonna flip that tag down, and you're gonna top stitch that tag down. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So okay. clip that, clip that little tag in there, so it stays together, and sew that on. Yep. And I'm gonna put my tag on while you, because you just. Okay. Then I'm gonna do mine real quick. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Yay. Yeah. Okay. So now you need to flip and we're going to top stitch. Make sure you do the one eighth inch, you know, top stitch and lengthen your stitch length. Okay. So I'm going to lengthen my stitch length back to five and I'm going to take my needle back over to the right. Yes. They want to know what your tag says. It says, it's handmade, so you better like it. <laughs> I think it's a Lauren Mormino tag that I had. It's, um, I'm making these for my kids. I have two kids. I have an 11-year-old girl and a 16, almost 17-year-old girl. Uh, funny, funny little tidbit. Here you go. So my daughter, Annabelle, and her daughter, Abigail, are <laughs> one day apart in age. We did not plan the one day or the names being so similar, by no, the way. No, we didn't plan any of that, but they are called the twin cousins. It These says I should are flip. absolutely nothing alike. <laughs> oh. Oh, someone said I need to flip the tag down to the mint side? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, flip the tag okay. down, and you're going to you. sew. Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah. So you're going to sew over that tag so it stays down. Does okay. that make sense? Yep. Yep. So yes, Abigail and Annabelle are a day apart, and when they were little, we used to dress them as twins, and we called them twin cousins. <laughs> and now, they never dress as twins, because nope. Annabelle is a Kasaya, and Abigail is a me. Uh -huh. and... <laughs> Which is totally fine. Yeah, it actually works. It worked out They're great for very us. Very different personalities, but it works, just like me and Susan. Yep. Yep. Hi, Medea. In fact, Abigail gets these um, YouTube notifications when you go live. Uh huh. And I know that she does. So when she left for school today, I said, hey, do me a favor. If you get a YouTube notification for Saya's channel, could you please not watch it? And she goes, why? And I said, <laughs> you can watch it after Christmas. And she's like, okay, all right. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Take it out. 
sound like you're bobbing. Yep. Yeah. You may need yep. to just rethread your bobbin real quick. Yep. Are you gonna do music for this? I do music when you mess up. Do 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 <laughs> Did you lengthen your stitch length? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> this cape, this is all weird too. I'm just going to redo it real fast. You're fine. It's the joys. This is real time. Do you all ever feel like you spend more time messing with thread and tension and machine than you do actually sewing? Yes, that's because you're on a domestic machine. Really? It's not like that with the no, industrial? No, it is not like that with my industrial. So you think your machine's better than mine? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I knew. You knew it? I knew. Don't tell you mom. Said, uh, don't tell mom. <laughs> you know what? Mom's probably watching this. Hi, yeah, mom. Mom's probably just... watching this. Hey, mom, she just said that... Her machine is better than this, and this is the one you bought. What do you want to say to that, Mom? <laughs> fight. Fight. Uh, Brittany, right? Like, I've never, hardly ever messing with the piston on my industrial tool. My bobbin every once in a while goes funky, but that's about it. Well, I Charlie know. says I'm unpicking my current project as I watch this. Hey, Charlie. Hey. Team industrial in that sense. <laughs> <laughs> Terry says, no, Susan, no worries. Sai is getting you an industrial. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, wait, mom is on. Mom is getting her an industrial. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> funny. <sighs> oh, I'm going to go get a Hershey kiss while I'm waiting for you. Oh. Uh, I wish you could hand one through the screen. What? I mean. I wish you could hand one through the screen to me. I mean, if I was there, I would give you one. You know what? You really would. I would. This is true. This is fact. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with this? What's going on? I'm losing my ever loving mind. I can't get it through this little hole. Oh, my <gasps> you know what? I'm going to get my, my glasses. I think I just can't see very well. What hole? Shouldn't it just like slide in? Is that um... My bobbin has this hole right here on this arm. What? No. Yes. No, I have never threaded it that way. Well, I just now didn't thread it that way, and the bobbin wouldn't even come up. No. Am I just making stuff up? This is not supposed to go in that hole? Everyone tell me. Uh, I don't think so. You should just, like, put it through that little slot and pull it up and then push it in. Yeah, you know everybody's what? saying no. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. And that's yeah, weird. no, that's weird, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought it was a hole that you had to well it's done. Let's see if it works. <laughs> it's only goes through the hole when embroidering, they say. When you're making well, buttonholes, like, you, no, you don't have to do that tiny little hole. Everybody's saying. Oh, all these years, I have always put it to that. Are you kidding me? No. Test I'm not on kidding. your scrap. Test on your scrap before you continue. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Hey, I don't know how to play the French horn. And <laughs> you don't really understand how to thread a bobbin. It's all good. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> How's that? Let's see. Ooh, it's beautiful. All right. The back still is. The back is loopy. Can I just show you what the back is? Yeah. And if I should just leave it alone? That's not being clear. Mm -mm. How do I make it clear up? Touch it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, is your tension at a six now? Yeah. I don't know. Just try it. Okay. Well, the top part looks amazing. Okay, good. Okay. It's 
gotta be fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, did you know that I bought you a shirt, but I didn't mail it to you in time? Okay, I, I got you a hoodie, and they printed it wrong, and I didn't get it to you in time, so it's all good. Um, Perfect, because I'm gonna show you the I'm gonna show you the shirt in just a second. Okay. I think the seams need to be folded back the other direction. Oh, they do. No, you're good. You're good. The seam is okay. going down towards your jelly, right? Yes. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, I saw this shirt and it was so funny. I had to buy it. The, can your tension go up anymore? Um, yes, it can. Okay, turn it up just a tiny bit more. Like maybe six and a half or something? Yeah. Okay. And somebody says they bring their thread up before they start sewing. That might be, you know, part of it too. I brought the thread up. Oh, okay. All right. Make sure to throw, hold it when you start. I brought the thread up after I put it through that really microscopic hole at the end of that little. <laughs> you did. <that. laughs> okay. Don't be jealous. Catherine Weaver says she goes all the way up to a seven. Okay. So, and she has the same machine as you. Oh, really? Okay. And this goes to the green side, yep. right? You can read it, yeah. Aw, thank you, Karina. Have a good flight. Is she going somewhere fun? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Are you going somewhere fun? She might be gone, though, because she says she had to leave. Oh, so quit asking your questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jaden says, I'm going to see if I have this hole on my boppin. <laughs> Jaden, I need someone to back me up. I feel like everyone's <laughs> leaving me out to dry here. All right. All right. How's it look? I mean, I think it looks fantastic. Okay. Now, this next part, your needle, I'm a little worried about the tape with your machine. Um, hopefully it does okay. This is where that alcohol pad wipe is going to come in handy. You're okay. probably going to have to keep wiping it while you're sewing. Okay. It'll get sticky. And when it gets sticky, it messes everything up. Okay, My so. other thought was, mm -hmm. um, no, that's, that's it. My other thought was, is we put it up even farther and, um, you sew right above the tape. So you're not sewing on the tape at all. And then when we put our other piece on, you're just going to line it right up with that edge. I'm wondering if we should do that. I'm a little worried about the tape. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do now, don't freak out. Take it apart. Is that against the rules? <laughs> Not my rules. <laughs> Okay, take it apart. All right, she's telling me to do it, people. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to keep your tape out. So what you want to do is we are going to line up this zipper. Now, you, okay, I hope, hope you can see this. I'm going to do the same thing and keep it out. So you, this is just going to be kind of an eyeball to see. So my tape, ends right here and I've put it up a little bit farther. So I'm going to be sewing through this part okay. right here where the tape isn't. Okay. Yeah. I see that. But I'm trying to make it as even as I can on the zipper. Okay. So it's about, okay. you know, like an eighth of an inch above the zipper, above the tape. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. And we're going to do like that. So our, so we're not sewing through that zipper tape. So you're going to go ahead and just carefully place it as evenly as possible along your bag. Does it matter what size start at? Um, yeah. So um, this is going to be usually your zippers open from left to right. So I like to do it on the side where my tag is here. Okay. Okay. That's usually the side I start with. Okay. Okay. If you wanted to draw a line on your zipper tape. Yeah, I could do that. You could totally do that and give yourself a guideline for where to, um, where to put it on. So you want it about an eighth of an inch above your zipper tape. You know what? I'm going to grab my other ruler really quick. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll be back. Okie dokie. I can hear her talking to her husband. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> I can hear you. Uh oh. <laughs> he wanted to know if we were on a break or something. <laughs> so, no. You're like, nope. we already had that when I got a phone call. <laughs> yep. Okay. It might be hard to draw on your zipper tape, but I don't no, know. No, do it the I... other way. Do it the other way. Turn the zipper tape and go about an eighth of an inch from the end of your zipper tape or the double-sided tape. And do you have a marking pen that'll mark on that? Did you I keep have one a... of my chalk pens? I have a white something that might work. Okay. This is me just, I mean, I, there's not really an eighth on here. Oh, wait, I didn't go this way. There should be. Well, there's not. Okay. Well, just make it even. Yep. I'm just going to kind of line it up like that. You just want to make sure you have enough room uh, from the zipper teeth in your foot, right? You don't want your zipper teeth to hit the edge of your foot. Okay. I really don't know what I'm doing. Just draw an even line away from your zipper tape where you can attach the clear vinyl to. Can you see it all to see if I'm, well, you probably can't tell. I mean, it looks good. Okay. And then hold it up to the camera when you're It's so faint. Let's see. But no, that's perfect. Well, it might be a little too close to your zipper teeth. So okay. Just so then I'll... your vinyl up right underneath that line. Okay. Okay. Could you try oh, again? My watch is talking to me. Could you try again? I didn't understand you. How do you people make this look so easy? Practice. I think I'm better at playing instruments and making jokes. No, I think you're great at this too. Okay. Yeah, just do a little bit of a tape at the tape at a time and go slow. Okay. You're fine. It's fine and fun. We're all fine. Do do do. Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. So when you put that on there, does there look like there's enough room between the end of that vinyl and where the tape starts where you can get a line of stitching in? Yes. Okay. You're good. But am, I am I too close to the teeth? I mean, I hope not. It's so hard for me to tell. I think you're okay. Okay. Um, Because you can move your needle all the way over, right? Right. You move your needle all the way over to the right and you should be okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sew mine on real quick. Do it. I'm going to. I'm doing it the same way you are. Oh, connection. Connection. 
Oh yeah, that's nice. I don't have to clean my needle or anything like that. I think that was a smart decision. You're so smart. Well, not really, but people are saying we need a drink. Somebody said tequila. <laughs> I don't know if this bag would turn out if we were taking shots of tequila. <laughs> Helen, yes, my watch goes on do not disturb, but sometimes it thinks I say the S-I-R-I -I word and it turns on. <laughs> the the S-I-R-I -I word. <laughs> you started saying the S word and I'm like, Hesaya. You're like, oh, what? Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. Right? Hey, party people, am I making a shorter... Um, it length. can be, um, it can be a longer stitch length. It's fine. Um, okay. you could just keep it at the same stitch length and everything that you were before. Cause your needle was all the way over. Right. Right. Yeah. And so now you're just sewing the edge of that vinyl to your zipper. So you want to keep, you want to keep wherever that stitch length is. You want to keep that out of the tape. That's our whole idea for that too. Yeah. So you don't want to the tape. Okay, give me just a minute. I got to figure out where this is going in. Maybe if I go. Okay, I think I have it. Yeah, okay. I think right there gets me right in the clear path. Okay. We're about to find out, people. All right. And I'm backstitching, right? Yep. You almost always backstitch. Because one time, the other time I made a bag with you, I kept trying to backstitch. And you kept saying, you don't backstitch with bags. That's a well, um, that's because bag, uh, those kind of bags, there's a lot of basting. And basting, you don't necessarily have to backstitch. Oh, gotcha. But we're actually doing mostly, there's no basting involved in this bag. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Karen says, some people have one or two instructors. You have 200. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so if my bag turns out bad, uh, there's, no hope, there's no hope for me, right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> funny. <laughs> Is it looking okay? Yep. And you're not sewing through the, the, the tape? I don't think I am. I keep stopping to look, and it looks like I'm right in that little clear spot. All right, cool. We'll find out when my needle stops working, right? Uh huh. Well, you can feel it. If it feels sticky, then you're going through the tape. Doesn't feel sticky. All right, you're good. Let's see if I got it all. Hold it up and let's see. Yes, yes, queen. That looks perfect. Okay. That looks so good. Thank you. That felt really satisfying. <laughs> she is a pro. See, she's all like, I can't do it. I didn't okay. say I can't. I just said I was nervous. Now, listen, this part is not necessary, but it's just to cover up that raw edge of the zipper and make it look pretty. This is just like a pretty addition. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. Okay. But That's pretty. I like it. Let's you want to do it? Okay. So look at me. Okay. Put your tape through the center. Okay. Because again, we don't want to sew on it. Okay. Put it through the center. And then we're going to line this up with the edge of that clear vinyl along here. And then we're going to sew down each side of this piece. Got it. Do you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yes, queen. <laughs> I'm so offended. Uh, 
I'm just kidding, but you got it. I know, it. I'm not. I don't, I don't care. I think it's funny. You got it. I mean, the truth is, do I? We'll find out. I mean, I think you do. I mean, I understand what you're saying, yes. You're a very competent person. Well, thank you. You are very average as well. I'm very average? Isn't that what competent means? I don't know, is it? I thought it was a compliment. Oh. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I uh, meant like, you. you're smart. Is it competent smart? Um, no, you're right. Competent actually is a compliment. <laughs> I'm <don't know> <laughs> all <smart>. rude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to start a fight over over uh, the <laughs> internet. <laughs> fight, fight, see? Karen says it's a compliment. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. She just can't take compliments, I guess. It is a little uncomfortable, yes. Okay, you want to pause just for a second. See, now I'm going to sew down to on the edge, close to the edge on each side of this accent strip. So it's just like a pretty piece. Got it. And you're just trying to avoid where the tape was. Yep. So where we're putting this new piece should line exactly up with the tape from our zipper. So uh -huh. we should be sewing to the side of that tape and we shouldn't be sewing through any tape. If everything went as planned the first time. Correct. Got it. Correct. My dogs are freaking out upstairs. What are they freaking out about? They want to knock on the There's probably a package. I have like 20 packages a day at my door right Or now. maybe Oakley's looking for another tree to knock over. Oh, uh, maybe. She's like, let me at it. Now let me at it. I knock over every Christmas tree. <laughs> if anyone's watching me do this, you can see that. What? Uh, oh no. Okay, never mind. Got it. You got it. Okay. So here, see, look, this is what mine looks like. Can you see my stitching on each side? Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell me again where I am going to line up this? The edge of the vinyl, the edge of the clear vinyl that's on the zipper, you're lining that edge up with this edge. Okay. Okay, and that's your guideline for this piece. Okie dokie. All right. Oh, Teddy, Teddy, don't, don't bark. It's just Oakley. I know. Did she hear my Teddy's barking. barking. Teddy, 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 it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now Teddy's barking at your dogs. Because Teddy's in here with me. Uh, that's funny. Oh, Everybody's saying competent is a compliment. It means capable and able. See? I know. I. How about I'm, I knew a vocab word better than you did? You know what? You win all the competitions. I know. Um, Dagmar, the measurements for this bag. So I did a live for this clear boxy bag last week, I believe. And all the measurements are in the comments on that one. And then Okla Roots um, is the one who did this pattern. And this is her creation. And so it's also got a link to her video as well. I'll put it, I'll put it all in the comments when we're done with this video. And these clear vinyls were pre-order from, I think this was Wonderground. This was Wonderground Fabrics, but I know they're going to get some retail in. I don't know if they currently have retail in and it's sold out, but Becky says her dog's joining in with ours now. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? I'm not sure. Okay. Just pull your bobbin a little bit. It's just this top thread is just tight and not moving. Yeah. Well, your tension's super tight, so. Oh, okay. You know. Okay. Make sure it's not caught anywhere, though, too. Does it look I'm threaded just, okay? I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to test it really fast. Yeah. It doesn't like something. All right. Is it your bottom or your top thread that doesn't like something? 
<gasps> I think mom's here. Should we have her come say hi? Yeah. Maybe you need to re-thread your top thread. Okay, let me do it real quick. <clears throat> Don says the definition of competent is having the necessary ability, knowledge, or skill to do something successfully. See? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Hey, mom, you should come in here. <laughs> Lisa says, try turning your wheel. Somebody else is asking if your needle is sticky. It doesn't feel sticky at all. Okay. Maybe so it's the hole <laughs> in your boffin. Stop it. That's not what, <laughs> who said that? Tammy. <laughs> uh, Tammy, come on now. Who's on my team here? <laughs> they want to meet mom. Mom, come in. We're on a live. Come say hi to the people. Okay. I'm late. You're late. I'm late. late. You want to say hi to the people? Just put your head right here. Just where the, <laughs> the camera people is. of the internet. Hey, yeah. Here, sit in this chair and scoot in close and this say is hi to Mama the people. Mama Shern. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> there, there's our mom. <laughs> All right. Okay. Later. <laughs> See you. Bye, mom. You working on it? Um, she's teaching me how to make a bag, and we're doing it online. Cool. All right. Bye. 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 Dog in there with you or... uh, I don't know. It's fine. Okay. I think the thread is good now. Okay. All right. So I'm trying to stay out of the tape. Yep. Everybody saying hi to mom. Hi, mom. So our parents live in the same town as me. Yeah. I'm not sure. She sounds like she was dropping something by, but she in a hurry. <laughs> She's going somewhere. So fast. So so important, she said. That reminds me, Abigail has an orthodontist appointment. I forgot to tell her. Uh oh. Have Bryce do it. He's listening, right? Um, no, he's talking to mom. How's your stitch length? It's a five. Okay. But it's catchy. It's not doing a five at all. Huh. Not, is it not feeding through? It is now. It had, a, it had a rough start, but it's good. Okay. Somebody suggested putting oil on your actual material where you're sewing. I don't know. Oh, I've really? also heard I've also heard, heard talcum powder. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, um, no, Susan and I live in different states. She lives in Utah. I live in Colorado. But you should <laughs> have this new feature where we can be together. Terry says she's not your dad. <laughs> He's not so bad. <laughs> That's funny. We'll have to him. We'll have to have him come pop over one of these times. Uh huh. Well, this was creative. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look terrible. How's that? Okay. Well, that's good. It's. I had a rough start. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's okay. My kids see. don't care. No, the kids are not going to care. Let me see. I'm not going to show all of you. It's terrible. Why? It's Just so, show us. It's not well, even The whole straight. point, the whole point of this is that you show us. <laughs> okay. See. Are you ready? Just be nice though, okay? Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just like. <laughs> oh, once I got to here, I was uh -huh. like, okay. Okay. That's just practice. This part right here. Yep. yep. That's okay. That's just practice. So do the other side now. Cynthia, I did live in Vegas for the last 20 years, but I moved just two hours away to St. George, which is at the very southern part of uh, Utah. Wow. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Now just sew on the other side of that accent piece. Okay. I'm wow, waiting because was... you're doing great. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Well, it's... 
little bit of a drunken sailor on that one. But you know what? That's okay. It's fine. Fine. Plus, it wouldn't be any fun if I didn't make mistakes, right? Yeah, I mean, what would be the point of doing a video? No point. <laughs> yes, yeah, so whenever I say I'm going to visit my sister, I'm going all the way to St. George, which is 10 to 11 hours away from here. And I drive. Susan is sewing on a Bernina. I'm not sure what model. It's a Virtuosa 150. Virtuosa 150. At least that's what it says right here. Yeah. Well, that had a drunken start again, and I missed it altogether. <laughs> <laughs> but then it looks really like good. You missed, the, you missed the accent piece altogether? Missed it. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Margaret says your bag is made with love. That's all. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it's true. I don't see. I think my kids. Your will, kids are going to love it no matter what. They're going to be like, Mom, you made this. We're so proud of you. Yep. Let's see it. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, what do you mean you missed? <laughs> I missed. <laughs> well, but, you can go back and sew that down or you could just leave it because it's taped down and it'll be fine. But you could go back and just sew that down real quick if you want. You know, it's fine. Okay. So <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> Your kids will not even notice. Yeah, I would go well. Oh, well. But Gabriella won't. Just don't have them compare it to anything and it's fine. All right. So we're going to do the other side now, right? Same thing. Okay. Except, so you want to make sure, like you see how I started my zipper tape here. Yeah. So your zipper tape, right? It's going to start like on the this. Same side. It needs to start on the same side like that. So that, the, the same exact step. So if you want to mark your zipper tape for where you want to lay it, do that. Okay. But do the same exact, I think keeping our stitches out of that zipper um, double-sided tape was um, super smart. I think that helped a ton. Okay. That helped us not have a ton of issues, I think. <laughs> I, I was a little that. worried about that. Okay. We can do this, everyone. We can do it. We're halfway done. They're probably like, longest boxy bag tutorial <laughs> ever. This probably is the longest boxy bag video, but it's entertaining, right? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> That's all that matters. Whatever. Uh, Whatever. Yeah, check if your needle is sticky before you sew again, just to make sure that you didn't sew through any of the tape and it doesn't need cleaned. Okay. If I just touch it, will I be able to tell? Yeah, you should. Hi, Leslie. Leslie's on here now. Hi, Leslie. How are the baby squirrels? Baby squirrelies. Her babies. Oh, my zipper is a little off. That's okay. Shoot. That's okay. My stitching missed all together. <laughs> Connection. Connection. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie says they are wonderful getting so big. Baby. Oh, look and they fast, do look so they, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> and they look much better with little fur than they did naked. Yes, yeah, they do. This is true. All right. How are you doing over there? Um, good. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Ugh. You can't do it this way. Um, is she going closer to the teeth to avoid the double-sided tape? Yes, she is. Yep. We're keeping her needle out of the double-sided tape. I was a little worried about that. So we're trying to avoid it at all costs. And right now, I'm just over here flinging material over it. <laughs> I just can't get the right angle to get this down. I know. Yeah. Sometimes that's a little tricky. You got to... Sometimes you have to actually hold it all up and just line it up. Yeah. I think I'll just... This is like the tenth bag I've made, so I've kind of got this one down. Question. Yes. Did you miss your stitching like I did in your first bag? <laughs> what do you think? I think you did not. I, you know, but question. Yes. How many bags have you made beside this? Besides one. This? Exactly. One. How many have I made besides this? One in the hundreds, I'm sure. Right <laughs> by this point, yeah. So it's fine. 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 After this, we get to put on the zipper pull, Susan. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Terry, that's probably about right. I have no idea what my bag count is. <laughs> what Terry say? 8,239. <laughs> yep. That's it. I like how that's such an exact number. <laughs> I know. I love it. That's funny. Might as well be. I wonder if it is in the thousands at this point. I don't know. Someone asked me the other day where I got my bag. Which one? My, um, the one you made for Florida. I don't remember what it's called. The hip. Oh, the hip bag? The B hip? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. I said, oh, my sister made it. No, she didn't. And I'm like, she did. <laughs> yeah. Isn't she brave to try um, vinyl for the second bag she's made? I think that's pretty brave. Is it? Yeah. Leslie oh. says we should track how many you make in 2023. Leslie, we totally should. That's actually, that's a great idea. Yeah, that is a good idea. I'll have to start a tally somehow in my room. You should start a tally of how many chocolates you eat. And oh, no, no, no. How many bags you make. <laughs> chocolates will be more. Yes, but will it be two times as much, three times as much? That's what we don't know. No. Enchanting breeze. Have fun at work. Sorry, I'm not looking at the comments at all. I'm concentrating so hard. No, I'm doing the comments this time. You usually do okay. the comments, and now I'm doing it. Okay, you're doing a great job. Thanks. It doesn't so matter what side I start on, right? No, but you're doing it. I would do it that way. Okay. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Here we go, little guy. You're doing good. Go, Susan, go. Go, Susan, go. <laughs> Charlie says, there are just some things that don't need to be counted. Chocolate is one of them. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I knew I liked you. <laughs> For many reasons. For many reasons. That is one of them. <laughs> That's funny. Looking good, girl. Sandy, I got the medium hip bag. Didn't make it yet. Which size do you prefer? I um I carry around the medium size the most. That is I carry the large. The medium size is like the most common size hip bag, I think. Susan does the large. The large is great too. I do the large when I'm like needing to pack a little extra. Thing. Well, I do large because you made me a large, so I'm not gonna make this. Is true. <laughs> she carries whatever I make her. Um, <laughs> bye, Tammy. Have fun at work. 
I don't. I also don't count the number of bags or pairs of shoes I own. <laughs> That's smart. Same. <laughs> That's funny. All right, she's doing good, guys. She's adding her accent piece. This is a really cute bag. Yeah, it's gonna turn out so adorable. I don't know who to give the baby great one to. Mm, I don't know. What other what, what other uh, vinyl did I send you? Um, the multicolor like grid stripy like grid. Oh pattern. yeah, mm -hmm. super cute. And then the I figured. I guess I assumed that Abba would like the baby group. Yeah. And um, Rella would like the colorful one. That's kind of what I was thinking too. Yeah. Charlie, I just picked up my first printed vinyl and can't wait to try it. I still haven't tried the jelly vinyl. You'll love the jelly vinyl, Charlie. It's very addicting. I want to, I just did that poppy clutch um, live the other day. I want to try it with the jelly vinyl, just jelly vinyl. I think it would be so cute. Would you guys like to know where I got my jelly vinyl? We were in Florida packing <laughs> our bags to get on the plane. <laughs> and I saw four or five rolls in Kasaya's suitcase and I took this roll out and I put it in my suitcase and I said, I'm going to make a bag from this. I see a common theme here. You like to steal <laughs> from me. <laughs> it's like I do. <laughs> You're not wrong. Hmm. Okay. And I'm lining this up with the clear vinyl edge. Correct? Yep. yep. I'll just have to get this. It's hard to get the start off. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Did you get it? I got it. Sometimes you have to like rub it down really good before you take the, the, oh, edge yeah. the tape off. Like I sit there okay. and rub it with my finger now really good before I take it off. Oh, that's smart. And I forgot to tell you all, I don't have fancy nails like my sister. <laughs> Thanks I, have <laughs> I, I have musician nails. Mm -hmm. I keep them short. Mm-hmm. Every once in a while I get them done, but I have had so many traumatic experiences getting my nails done and getting them taken. Gosh, oh, you gosh. really have. It's kind of crazy. It's awful. It's awful. My sister has had the worst salon experiences. I cannot either. I, I, don't and, I haven't, and I haven't done it very often, very much. Like every once in a while I think I'm going to get gel nails. It'll be fun. Not fun. <laughs> Heidi, where do you get the cherry kisses? Um, yeah, Target is all out. I got the last um, batch of Texas <laughs> at King Supers, and I heard the CVSs have them right now as well. I think all of um, the Saya Swag people are buying out all of the Cherry Cordial Kisses currently. <laughs> so funny. It's kind of awesome. Maybe they'll make more next year. They never make enough. It's kind of crazy. You got okay. it? Well, I don't know. We're going to see if I can get it this time. Okay. Oops, I did back to it. That's okay. Somebody says you have stickier fingers than the vinyl. Get it? Because you're still in my stuff. You have sticky fingers. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> it wasn't moving. It just kept going up and down and up and down. Um, so I would start a little farther in. Oh, really? Okay. Maybe it's because you're starting right on the edge. Okay. Somebody said to do a fabric lead. I'm not sure what that means. I think it means have fabric laying right, um, under the front of your foot. Oh, so you catch yeah. The fabric first and get your foot going. Oh, okay. That's a great idea. Um, I think it's just because of the layers of vinyl. I think that's, well, I was about to blame me missing it on that. I'm like, that's why I'm missing, but now I think I just missed. <laughs> no, I think I just missed. If oh that's gosh. right on the edge, I wouldn't worry about picking it out because you have a half inch seam allowance there and it's going to get sewn. Okay. It was just a big knot, though. Okay. Okay. Start sewing back so it holds the threads and then put your project after and keep sewing, is what somebody said. Wait. Start sewing fabric so it holds. 
And another person says machine oil on your vinyl can help. Yeah, I think it's like pulling in your zipper and stuff and just getting caught. So I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do, though. I'll be honest. Well, just start further in on it and try that. Sorry. I get what they're saying, but it's hard for me to show you from here. Make sure and hold your threads. Uh-oh. Is it going? Well yeah, but I didn't backstitch. That's okay. It'll get sewn into your seam allowance. Okay. Dawn says, what happened with your nail experience? Your bad nail. She's had multiple. <laughs> it's just, it's amazing. I, I, I couldn't make it up if I tried. <laughs> One time that it was such a bad job. They, it was gel nails, but they did such a bad job that my, my fingers, like I was in pain. Mm -hmm. I was, I had to play the organ the next day at church. They were so uneven and they were pushing and pulling that my fingers felt bruised. Um, another time I went to get them taken off. Oh, I, this time I can't even believe you sat through this. I, I you, you tell it while I sew. Okay. I yeah. She went to get them taken off and instead of soaking them in acetone like they're supposed to do and kind of you know peeling them off and then using the little dremel to get the he peeled them off he just peeled her nails off and like took most of the layer of her natural nail off with it and it was so painful and her nails looked horrid i i could not even believe it and they were bruised and it was yeah it was bad so I have told her she's justified in never getting her nails done again. <laughs> I mean, I hardly do it anyway. So it's not yeah. Good. Yeah. How did that I work? Really did that work better? Yeah. And guess okay. what, everyone? I got it this time. Yay. See, you're getting, you're getting better because you're practicing. Okay. Now do the other side. Okay. Don says they did that to me too. Awful experience. That's horrible. Really? Yeah. Oh, you guys. I have the best nail tech. I freaking love my nail tech. Lynn is amazing. I've never had that happen. I have. Oh, I'm going to start further in. And hold my thread. There you go. Did that work better? Yep. Okay. Whoops. So many great suggestions on the I, I, I missed again. I went off in the middle this time. <laughs> Anybody know the movie that we're quoting when we say, I missed? I missed. You what do you missed. mean you missed? I missed. I missed. <laughs> Nobody probably knows that one. Daddy daycare. Daddy daycare. Um, yep, I missed. All right. Bye. Let's see. Look, oh, it's it went fine. Off. I missed. It's fine. Oh, it's we've got, uh, we got a spammer. Ah. People are so dumb. People are so dumb. I like this. It's really pretty. Jaded Fresca in the cup? No. Um, it's just water today. <laughs> I don't want love. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jade, it's funny. <laughs> Hi, Barb. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get this going. Okay, so okay. this is going to be 
Oh gosh. Hey, listen. Now, you're going to take your bag so it's inside out. So, do you see how it's inside out right now? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And we want this big old long edge of the zipper now. Okay. Okay. Now your zipper pull mm -hmm. has two ends, like this little headpiece. This more rounded edge is the edge that we're working with where the zipper pull is going into. Okay. Okay. Not the, not the flat one, but like the rounded one. Okay. Okay. Now, the way that I do it is I hold one hand with this zipper tape like this. Okay. Wait, are you holding it with your thumb on the back of the zipper look, or the look front? It, look at it. This is the back of the zipper. Okay. This is the front. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to put in one side of the zipper. Okay. Like not all the way, just like mm, three fourths of the way. Okay. Now with that same hand, I'm going to kind of hold that zipper and tape where it's at on that zipper head. Okay. And then I'm going to take this other piece and slip it on the other side of the zipper pull and get it in there. Okay. Now, once they're both in, I'm going to have to like maneuver a little bit and line them up so they're even in there. You're going to have to just kind of look really close and see where they're at. And they should be kind of even. And once they're even, you're going to push that pull, pull onto your zipper tape. And if I screw this up, then I've messed up the whole thing. No. You did not okay. mess up. Okay. All right. Well, I think they're even. Okay. They look now even. Push that, push the pull down, and it should kind of slide onto the zipper tape. Hold the tape in place and push that pull down. <gasps> I dropped it. Hold, please. I know. It's tricky. Especially when suit guy, she's never put a pull on before. I wish I was there in person. It's fine. It's fine. Because if I can do this on a video, so can everyone else, right? Yep. So when I push my pull on, I'm kind of holding it down here. And I'm holding it and I'm Pull. pushing it on like this. Wait, show me again because everyone's words keep coming on top of your hands. Okay. Okay. Show me so again. When I get it in right there. Yeah. I'm going to hold with this hand. Okay. And then I'm pushing down my pole with this hand. <gasps> she did, did it. it. You did it. <laughs> Now, listen, you don't have to do it this way um, if you don't want to take your chances. So what I like to do is I pull it all the way through and off because that closes up my zipper and it'll close up this end. And then I okay. put it on one more time. Everybody's, yay, everybody's like, yay. Thank you. You guys are so nice. <laughs> and then I put it on again, but don't let, we're not going to do that for you. Okay. Okay. But I'm doing that. That's what I'm doing right now. And then I put it on again and it closes both sides of my zipper for this next part. Do you see that? And now both sides are closed. So, but I but we're going to leave yours open. Okay. Okay. So I want you to put that zipper pull about halfway through. Okay. Good job. Yay. Susan. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Good job. Now, yeah. Someone's all, someone's all, my face, when you said we're going to pull it off, I'm like, oh, I just got it off. 
All right, so just leave the zipper alone for a minute. Now we need to mark the center of this okay. bottom piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up this seam right here okay. together. And I'm going to fold my bottom piece like this. And that's my center. I like to just put a tiny little clip. And I've seen you do this. Yeah, put a tiny little clip right there and that'll mark the center of your bottom. And you're gonna do that on both sides. Okay. I'm so proud you got that zipper pulled on, Susan. Thank you. You're oh, beautiful. All of you are so beautiful. She's very competent and smart. Which is a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, a little, little snippy snip, right? Yeah, just a little snip so you can tell that you snipped it. Yep. Okay. Other side too? Yep. Okay. So I like to attach my, we could do this one or two ways. You can, we can clip this all together and you can slip that in there and sew it with it. Or you could sew this on first and baste it on there and then sew it all together. Which would you like to do? I just tell me what to do. Cause I don't know what you just said. Okay. So for you, what I want you to do is take your opened end of the zipper side. Okay. I want you to take it like this and we're going to put that together and you're going to put it under your machine and just baste that in shut real quick. I'm going to pretend like it's zip. You need to baste that together so it's not separate. But they're not going to be zipped together. So that's okay, right? Me. Just trust me. Okay. Turn your piece over this way. Okay. This is your okay. opened in zipper. Okay? okay. And I want you to put them as close as possible together. Okay. And I want you to baste those two pieces together. Does that make sense? So you're not, you're not going to put them one over the other, but you're going to butt them up next to each other. And mm -hmm. we're just basting that closed real quick. About how far in? About an eighth to a fourth. This is just going to help with the next step in getting your pieces together. Okay. And I'm just doing it basically over the zipper part. Yep. Which might be a little hard for your foot. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? Yeah. I would start on your zipper. Okay. Don't start on the vinyl. No. Should I start on the black part of the zipper or the zippy zipper? The me? zippy zipper part. And just go back and, you know what? Stop. Okay. I'm going to show you with this other end first what we're doing. And it'll make more sense. Okay. okay. So okay. stop. Okay. We're going to trim this zipper off completely. Okay. And I'm going to melt this. All right. So that's melted. I'm going to take my tab. I folded it in half. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm going to center that okay. where the zipper is. Okay. okay. So what uh -huh. I do is I take it from this side, actually, because I can see where the center of my zipper is better right there. Right. Okay. okay. And I'm going to clip that on right there. All right. Just like that. Okay. Then... You can base that on if you want, but we're not going to do that because I'm afraid that your machine's not going to like that. Okay. So then the center clip that we made right here oh, yeah. uh -huh. is going to be where that zipper is right there. Okay. Okay. So we're going to line all of that up, which it's kind of hard to see through this zipper tab. So you kind of have to guess, but it'll all line up. Okay. Yep. Right there. Okay. And then we're pretty much just clipping this whole side shut. Because we're going to be sewing this whole side shut. 
Okay. Which is kind of why I wanted you to close this end. It just makes sewing this all together better, but I think you'll be okay. Okay, so now I'm clipping this. And I'm clipping this. And the way you know you have it centered is it should line up with your seam is under. This okay. seam, both sides will be under. Okay. okay, so that's kind of what you need to do. Okay. So that's why having this zipper shut on the other end just makes it a little bit easier. But I don't want to risk you not being able to get that pull back on. <laughs> I know. It was a miracle. So after I get all of that done, I'm sewing that at a half inch seam allowance. And I'm cutting my zipper even with the bag? Yep. Oh, I don't think I cut these right. I didn't cut these tabs right. What do you mean? I forgot to cut them to three and a half inches. Okay, that's fine. I mean, they're going to be extra long no matter what. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna trim them down real quick. Okay. I'm all thinking my tabs are way longer than that. Well, you're folding them in half. I know, but I didn't cut them to three and a half. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm doing this. I'm I'm doing it, right? Yeah. Do it. Okay. <laughs> you got it. Beautiful. Now get your lighter and melt that edge of your zipper. Melty. Mm -hmm. Melty. Good. Perfect. Okay. okay. Now take your tab. Fold it in half lengthwise. Yep. Okay. All right. Now you're going to slip it down in between the two layers. You want the folded edge to be in between the two layers, not sticking out. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Get that centered in there. And you want, you want about a half inch to three fourths hanging over. Like you want about a half inch hanging over. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. There you go. Your folded edge is inside the bag, right? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit more hanging over. Yeah, right there. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Now clip that into place. Now you can either base that or you can clip the whole thing together and sew it all together. Let's just clip it. Okay. Let's clip it. Do it. I hope your machine sews through these layers okay. I'm a little worried. Are you? Yeah. So now you got to center that bottom piece in the center of all of that, which is hard to see, but. Oh, that's a great idea, Terry. Terry says Susan can practice sewing zipper stops on the piece she cut off to see if the machine can handle it. Yeah. But we're not going to do that right now. Just go ahead and clip this all together. Okay. Yeah, Charlie, I think her Bernina can do it too. I'm just trying to make this as <laughs> smooth as possible. Okay, I'm sorry. Give me just a minute here. So I want to clip all of that together, right? Yep. Yep, you're clipping the whole thing closed. If you don't know, everybody, Susan is usually very much a perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> hmm. Got it? Yeah, I just need one more clippy clip. Okay. So now you're going to sew this whole edge at a one half inch seam allowance. 
Oh shoot, I don't know where one half is. Let me let me figure it out real quick. Is there not markings on the on the plate there? I mean, there's um a quarter and five eighths. No, yeah, five eighths. So it should be right, right, um, like an eighth of an inch closer than the five eighths. Right. But it's it wasn't super accurate before. Okay. Give me just I won't take long, I promise. You're fine. I think I this. Boom, chicka lock. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay. I feel like my machine sews better with my jelly side up. Not sure about your machine. Um, maybe yours sews better with vinyl side up though because you have that teflon foot so i'm not quite sure mm. try vinyl side up okay. yeah you could always draw the seam line on your piece if you weren't quite sure but i think you got it yeah i got it i just had to make sure i was in the right spot there okay what's your stitch length at four and a half okay good I would sew vinyl side up. Okay. Like the clear vinyl side, right, Charlie? That's what I was thinking for her machine. And should I start slightly on it again? Yeah, I would. And the edges don't have to be perfect because we are cutting off the edges to box it. So okay. you can start in a little bit. Go a little bit faster over that zipper. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do we need to take a break? What's that? Do we need to take a break? No, I'm just like hoping the zipper works. Okay, ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it. I did it. Yeah. You got it. Karen says, I feel the stress. <laughs> Gun it, sorry. Terry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, like, sorry. Go over it. <laughs> you got to give it some momentum. <laughs> I did it. Yay. Good job. Okay. So I want you to take this other side and I want you to pull your zipper like kind of closer. Don't pull it all the way off, but closer. So, yeah, there you go. So you have a better, you know, gauge of everything. Okay. So now you're going to repeat that. You're going to put your zipper tab on there and then you're going to line everything up. And I'm not going to baste it first. I'm just going to try to hold it together. Whatever you want to do. I think it'll be fine if you clip it all together. And I will do mine. She did it, guys. She did it. See, Susan's awesome. We're going to have her making purses in no time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're very close, though. After this, all we got to do is box the corners, Susan. Really? Yeah. And then we're done. You're done good, kid. <laughs> I still need to make another one for my other child. Do you think I can remember all that? Yeah. yeah you, your second one will go faster. <laughs> Don says only... He gets an induction. 
<laughs> she says what? I said, you'll be sewing more bags. She says only if you get an industrial. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. That's funny. It does make a difference. You can also trim that tab down too after you sew it. Okay. Yeah, this is very satisfying. I can see why you all get into this. It's fun to come away with something made. Right? Yeah, she's doing awesome. Thank you, everyone. You're so nice. <laughs> Your sewing people are the nicest people ever. They are kind of awesome. <laughs> I'm going to go and use the little girl's room. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'll tell I'll tell stories about you. What do you all learn about? You can tell you can ask me any question. No. no. <laughs> she says no. <laughs> I've got control of her live now, so I'm in charge. What should we talk about? I know, making my first well, I did make a bag a couple years ago with her and her industrial. When we were trying to like use the industrial for beginners but she was in the same room as me and she cut it all out for me and she handed me every piece and said do this so this is a much simpler bag okay people i'm gonna do vinyl side up again because that seemed to work wish me luck i know all the little pieces you start with right okay oh i'll tell you do you see this hole in my sweatshirt this is a hoodie that my sister got, that one of the size sweat hoodies. I wore it one time, and then my daughter borrowed it, and she came home. She says, I'm so sorry. And she, I don't remember what they're doing, but it got cut. Got a hole in it. I said, that's okay. All right, here we go. I'm back. We're going to do this. Oh, they didn't ask any terrible questions about you, so I didn't okay. say anything. Good. You missed your chance, people. <laughs> Remember not to go slow over the zipper. Yeah, I'm just trying to, I got to hold it together. Is it so not clipped? It's clipped, but I got to pull the clips off to sew, right? So here we go. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. I'm just get a little bit closer. Cynthia says you can sew that hole up on your hoodie. <laughs> I was talking about the hole in my size swag hoodie. I didn't know you had a hole in it. Well, I wore it one time and Abigail borrowed it and they were doing some activity and it got cut. I don't remember what they were doing. <laughs> and she was so scared to tell me. She goes, Mom, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's okay. Bye. <laughs> That's funny. Go. Go. Oh, dang it. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> it went funk and it stopped. Okay. Take it out. Uh-oh. Oh, I broke my needle. I was just going to ask you, did your needle break? Okay, that's all right. Get it out and put in a new one. I don't know if I have another one the same size. What? I thought you had a whole box. I bought a variety pack. And it only had one of those? I don't know. I'm going to look right now. All right. Make sure you get the needle pieces out. Luckily, it's just bent. Oh, okay. Good. So there's no other pieces. All right. Yeah, you, you maybe hand crank over the zipper the next time. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. What have okay. you got? What needles do you got? Looks like I have a 12. Oh, that's it? Our video may be done. <laughs> Did I not give you any needles when I brought back the machine? Give me just a second because I have some more needles in the room. Let me see what I have, okay? Okay. Okay. Entertain the people, please. Womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> well, you guys, if she doesn't have 
any needles that size or bigger, our video may be done. <laughs> you didn't hit the zipper pull, did you? Was the zipper pull underneath somehow? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not sure which needle she has. She has needles with her other machine, so we'll see what she's got. If not, that's our video. <laughs> Shoot. <sighs> Susan is very funny, Cynthia. <laughs> yeah, a denim needle would work. Yep. We'll see if she has one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what she has in her stash. Great news! Great news! <gasps> what? <sighs> I forgot. I have this other pack. They're 116s. So they're 16s. Yes. Is that good? Yes, that should work, right? 16. Yeah, that it's should work. Bigger. That's bigger, right? Yeah, it's bigger, I think. It looks bigger. Okay. okay. It's, it's for like jeans and denim. Yeah, yes, yes. A denim needle. That should be perfect. Try that. Okay. One. That should almost be better than the needle you were using, actually. Christmas is saved. <laughs> <laughs> we can't finish this. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm as... Woo! What? How long have we been on here? Two hours. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Look, I'm trying my best, okay? No, you're doing great. You're doing so good. <laughs> yeah, make sure your zipper pull didn't fall underneath where you're trying to sew. I was wondering about that too. Okay. Pull that I'm back gonna... a little bit. Pull that okay. back a little bit out of the way. Okay. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Let's try that again. Okay. Here we go. Running start. Maybe not too fast, but just like, you know, don't slow. Not too fast, not too slow, not too close, not too far. <laughs> <laughs> All the things. Woo, you Woo, guys. All the things. Go the speed limit, Terry says. <laughs> I don't, but the speed limit might pull the zipper apart. You know what I mean? No, I think you'll be okay. I think you'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold your threads. Oops, I didn't hold my threads that one. Let's do it. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, Wendy, I'm so glad. Shortbread, yum. Wendy says she's in Australia and has been up early making shortbread and getting ready for work. Oh, I wish I had some of that shortbread. <laughs> I know. Did it go over the zipper okay? Heck yes. Okay, we're in business, y'all. Okay, trim your tabs down. Okay. Like to where they're even, you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where they're even. And then we're going to box our corners. Now, um, you can use like just a pen of some kind. It doesn't matter because we're sewing over it, but you need to be able to mark on this jelly fabric. I think, did I leave you one of these pens or no? Did you take one of these ones? No. Should I have stolen okay. that too? Yeah, maybe. Does that mark on it? Yeah. Okay. This is a, pen. this is a pencil I have. So you need, um, you need a ruler. Okay. Okay. And we're going to box them at one and a half. So you're going from your seam that you just sewed. Okay is gonna be the edge on one side, okay? And then 
the edge of your bag right here is your other guide. So here is my one and a half and here is my one and a half. So I'm making a box. So it looks uneven because you have this extra allowance here, but it's, it's not, it's even because you're going from that, that line that you just sewed. I'm going to mark it and then put it up to the camera to show you. So the edge of your bag and then the edge of that seam should be a one and a half inch box. Ooh, my marker's kind of hard to see. Can you even see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right there. Do you see that? Hey, yeah. So the edge where it meets with so the clear vine, the vine. This, and then uh -huh. this edge. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. That complete edge. Okay. So this is the seam here and then the edge of your bag here. And it's one and a half. One and a half. Yeah, and you probably do need to open your zipper a little bit so you have room to pull the bag through. Okay. When you're done. Okay. I think she should be fine. It's pretty easy to move with your fingers. And you're gonna go and do that on every all four all four corners uh, of your bag. I might need to get a different something. I don't know. Is it not marking on there? You could even do a Sharpie. Really? What are so yeah, through? because you're cutting. You're cutting. These are your cut oh. lines. Okay. Yep. I'll just grab a Sharpie. Okay. Yes, the hard parts are done. Sandy, you are correct. She is like in the home stretch. You always say that for like an hour. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well... I'm trying to make you feel good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it works. I feel really good. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Maria from Brazil. <clears throat> Got it? There you go. There. Can you see that pen? Yes, ma'am. Let me see it. <clears throat> yep, looks beautiful. Oops. Now do all four, all four edges. See, you do that noise with your mouth, you go, or whatever, and I go. I know you go, you always go. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Somebody has made a comment about that. I'm like, oh, now I'm like. <laughs> no, you have to do that. I do do it's that your, a lot. It's your thing. Uh, Mary Grace, I should have done my chores earlier. <laughs> You know what? I have a whole house to vacuum and mop, and I haven't done that yet. So. Oh, you know what? Vacuum and mopping is overrated. Ugh, I know, but Cameron comes home tomorrow for a few days, and I wanted to have the house clean. Yeah. Well, well, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'll either do it tonight or I won't. <laughs> I vote won't. <laughs> probably won't. <laughs> no, actually, I, I don't vote won't. I just vote don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, that, look, that looks weird. An inch and a half. An uh, inch and a half from that seam. Yeah. Okay, I think that's right. Okay, so look at all your corners. Do they all look the same? Yes, they do. Okay, now we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut out along those lines. Okay. So I like to, you know what I did on my last one is I clipped right here together. So it kind of held all my layers in place because it kind of pops out right there. And it helped when I cut all the layers. So clip the, on the other side. Uh, yeah, where you're not. The box. Mm -hmm. And it kind of just, it kind of holds all your layers down so you can cut through it. Okay. And... We're just going to go up on one side and cut out the other right there. And you're just cutting out these. See? Just like that. Okay. 
All right, all four sides. Okay. Becky says, I'm finally getting a chance to decorate my tree and you guys are keeping me company. <laughs> oh, we just sing a Christmas song for you. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Da, 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 da. the words. <laughs> How lovely are your branches. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Okay. Not okay yet. No. <laughs> Fine. Did you know this is one of the first Christmases that we're not spending together? I know. In a while, yeah. huh? It's weird. Kind of depressing. We should FaceTime each other. I don't remember who said it the other day, but somebody's like, you're not spending it with your sister? I'm all, no. <laughs> I know it feels a little bit off, but okay. I know it's fine. Oh, thank you, Lisa. What did Lisa say? She says, so glad to catch you two live. You have too much fun together. We really do. <laughs> Just ask anyone who tries to sit around us. Right? I mean, it annoys some people. Okay. Here we go. Now we're going to box these corners out and finish the back. So here's my, so it's going to end up like this, right? Oh my gosh. So cute. So you want to take your first edge here. Okay. Okay. And you're lining the jelly seams up together. Okay. See how they match up right there? Yeah. And that's going to have kind of a, a bump for you to sew over, but I think you'll be okay. And we're going to clip it together just like this. And it's okay if it doesn't match up perfectly. Like mine's a little off right there. It's fine. Okay. It's not, you're not going to be able to tell a difference at all. In okay. That. So that is what we need to do. And we do it to all four sides. So we can just do these first two sides first. So I just do uh, one side and then I go to the other side. Okay. So line up your seams. And I'm lining up the, the gel. Which way do I want? So your seams are going to be both going down the way you sewed them. Okay. And that's fine. So the jellies will all be facing the same way. Yeah. Uh-huh. You just want that seam to line up. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Come here, you little squishy squish. You made it look so easy. I mean, yeah, make sure your zipper is mostly open too. It might be easier. There you go. Listen, you got to pinch it, pinch it together like this. Do you see how I'm pinching it together? Get in there and pinch it. Yeah. And it'll just fold together. Okay. Yeah. Did that help? Yeah. Okay. Pinch it. Pinch at Susan. You guys remember the old SNL Sunshot? Sunshot. <laughs> just Sunshot. They're like, these jeans don't fit. Just Sunshot. Just Sunshot. <laughs> This belt's too big. Sent It looks so good. <laughs> Karen says, show it who's boss. That's right. Okay. Okay. Pinch it. Pinch it. Got it. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to sew those seams together at a one fourth inch seam allowance. Okay. <laughs> Bryce says that's our next sticker. Pinch it. <laughs> Pinch it. <laughs> It's kind of funny, actually. That sounds funny. <laughs> Just punch it. Punch it. 
很差。All right, so I like to lay my, you're gonna very much squish it. Squish it and pinch it. So I'm gonna- Where's your zipper though? Wait. It's under, it's right here. So, so like you, you could lay it like this too. You could lay it this way too. But just don't be afraid to push all this down is what I'm trying okay. to say. Okay. okay. And I feel like mine starts easier if I start on the jelly side. Okay. Um, cause it, you don't have to go over that big hump. Oh, I do. Am I doing the, I do have to go over a hump that way. No, you do. But like, just trust me, start on the jelly side. And then sew that at a one fourth inch seam allowance. And backstitch. I'll oh, see my stitching's all wonky now. It's contagious. My stitch is wonky. Wonky. It's this vinyl. This clear vinyl. Does, my machine does not love it. Like it does fine with the jelly, but it's not that vinyl. A little better. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? I don't know. There's noises, but I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's well, saying, punch it, squish it. <laughs> Push it, squeeze it. <laughs> Bop it, twist Bop it. it. Well, it's not the most beautiful stitch in the world, but it'll do. No, it doesn't need to be as long as it works. It works. And that's why that worked. Okay, now you just do the other side. Okay. Oh, see, that's just it came out. Oh, see? So mine, like, totally skips on this clear vinyl. I don't know why. Maybe I need to put some... How to do? Excellent. Excellent. So now the same thing to the other two corners, right? Same thing to the other two corners. And Susan, guess what? What? You're almost done. Whatever, you like that. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, then we turn it and it's done. Okay. I'm serious. <laughs> ah, serious luck. You did so good, Susan. Thank you. You did a good job teaching me. Oh, thank you. God. I feel like I got the zipper pull on a fluke. Like, I was so nervous about it, and it worked the first time. That can't be right. I was, you know what's funny is I was totally stressing out about that zipper pull before we came on. I thought, crap, what if she can't get that on? <laughs> well, the th I'm stressed because it was a little bit, it went too well, and I have to do it again without you for this other uh, bag. Yeah, I think you can do it. You got the feel of it now. Yeah. I think you can do it. Um, Rose, Rosemary, I will put the measurements in the comments when I'm done. It's also on a video I did last week on a live. I did this same boxy bag um, and all the measurements are in the description on that video. So um, in fact, if you'd like a much shorter video, I would refer to that video. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also an Oakland Roots pattern. So she has a video and all the measurements as well. I did watch her video. That's what made me want to do this. It is. It is. That's where we got this idea. I thought, oh, yeah, that's a cute idea. She did a great video. And she's so nice. Every, I, every time I've talked to her in person, she's just yeah, so nice. Yeah, she's super nice. I really like Jess. Mm -hmm. She's good people. She is. 
Okay. My my machine is not stitching good. Your machine is just trying to make my machine feel better. Yeah, it is. I don't know. My, my machine's doing better now. I don't it know just, why mine's messed up. I think this needle's a lot better. Yeah, that's stick. probably we should have started with that needle. Yeah, probably. It's a little better for mine. I don't know. My my top thread totally I don't even know, guys. Maybe you need to click your tongue. Maybe. Well, it's fine. This Mary, Grace, is Mary so Grace says, after a zillion times, sometimes I can't get my zipper pull on. <laughs> really? Hard. Yeah. It's uh, hard. You're not. You're not alone, Susan. Let's see. Are you done? <gasps> Guess what? Now listen, if it's too hard, you can use a hairdryer to heat up your vinyl and it makes it really soft and pliable. But these ones aren't horrible. It's this top vinyl that's a little tough. So now you just need to go and turn it right side out. Get out of there. This is kind of exciting. <laughs> We're birthing bags, Susan. How does it feel? Feels like this is my new child. <laughs> my new baby. <laughs> and then I like to like push after I get all of these corners pushed out I kind of like fold them and crease them watch wait I was showing you but then you looked away I like to just fold them and crease them so they have a good crease there okay see that okay. yep Oh yeah, Terry, that's a good idea. She puts tabs on the end of her zipper so she doesn't have to soak over the teeth. That's a great solution. And also binding on these edges is another great solution. So many different things you can do. Sandy, this is my favorite part of bag making too. The birthing? Yep. You get I can to see what why. You get. It's just, you get to see what you created. Ta and da, you guys. <laughs> Ta and da. Ta and da. Here's mine. Let's see it. Oh, it's so cute. For one of the triplets. Which one? I don't remember who picked what. I've got three of them now. How are we doing? You guys, she did it. She made a bag. Show me where I'm creasing tag again. Perfectly placed, by the way. The tag? Yeah, it's perfect. Wait, I'm creasing here? Yeah. There you go. Just to get all those seams nice and pushed out. <gasps> Everybody clap for Susan! Yay, Susan! Wait, wait. Let's see. Susan made a bag. Sebastian's coming and clapping for you, too. Sebastian, look. I'm so happy for you. Look, thank she made you. A bag. Thank watching. you. Have you? Yeah, I've been tuning in. <laughs> oh, I love, I love the. That it looks, looks so, good. so good. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, happy for you, seriously. <laughs> Thank you. It's You're it's one of Abigail's Christmas presents, so don't tell her. Gorgeous. 
Look at hey, us. I'm so happy. Thank you, everyone. You're so nice. Thanks for hanging in there with us, guys. That was a long bag tutorial for a little boxy bag. <laughs> That takes like two hours? Two, a little longer, two hours. Little longer, two hours. No, it's 107 <laughs> minutes. That's not more than two hours. It's 144. Oh, because I got off and came back on. Yeah. <laughs> fine. It's fine, everyone. It's fine. fine. All right. Susan, smile with your boxy bag. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, thanks for joining us and our sister so along. We Thank you. <laughs> I'm not nervous anymore. Now I'm happy. See? And now she can do the second one. So you're going to have to post pictures of the second one you do for everybody. Yeah, I'll probably just start it right now because I've got everything set up. Do it, girl. Do it. Hey, I'll post a picture with both bags when I'm done. And I'll time me how long I take on the second one. Yeah, Let's I see. wonder how we can, can we do a screenshot with both of us like this? That would be cute. I don't know how to do that though. I don't know either. Um, Let me see. I'm going to try it. Just a minute. I'm going to put, wait, no, I'm going to, I don't want my comments. How do I get the comments not to show? Oh, here we go. Let's see. Hide all. Okay. You ready? I'm, I'm ready. Screenshot us. Okay. Holding our backs. All right. One, two, three. Oh, it worked! Did it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. We'll catch you again soon. We're going to try and do this more often. So, yeah. I mean, maybe we won't. Maybe I'll go faster, but whatever. It's fine. Everyone stay. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining, everybody. We'll see you next time. Have Bye. a good day. Bye. See ya.